Hello and welcome to the video. We are Retro MTGA and you are excellent. Today I just have this strong urge to play Golgari Rot Priest again. A few changes to the list, perhaps, depending on when you come into this quest. Uh, three Infectious Inquiries. It's just so good. We don't really mind losing life. We're usually going to win or lose faster than that's going to be an issue. Unnatural Restoration down to two because we also have Tyvar for recurrence, recursion, I think. Um, down to three Canker Bloom. It's an excellent creature. It has excellent abilities, but we really need to stay in the four rat zone and the two edict, two throat two cut down, two infectious bite. We've got to have the protections. We need to smooth out our mana base or search for Rot Priest. Uh, that pretty much covers it. Um, I think if you have the wild cards or you have already crafted these, it makes a ton of sense to play four of these. I don't personally have that. So, let's go into the standard queue, play queue, and we're just going to run a couple games and see how it goes. Possibly a future video I'll talk about how I personally think that Mono Red has not gotten really any better since Brothers War. I I don't know. Perhaps I just don't understand oil counters well enough. So if you have a strong opinion on oil counters, you think I'm terribly, terribly wrong about that then let me know. Otherwise, I just don't see it. Um, this is not good. This is good. We'll... give up a safekeeping since we have two of them we don't really want to safe keep our rat we want it to die mwahaha um yeah this is a play line that we're going to go down play out death cap glade on curve opponent's turn. See what they're playing. Mill. Okay. This is fun. We're, we're, we're doing all alternate win cons today. That's great. I, I made a, a small snafu. You, you do want to protect your rat at the very beginning. You want it, like, wait, we have protection up. You want it to at least give you that poison counter because it doesn't actually do that when it dies. It proliferates when it dies. So that's a nice little tutor that we've got. Um, okay, let's get in there. Hopefully we can deal the damage. Okay, now if they kill it, we kind of don't care. And we're gonna give him another poison counter. 
reload. Okay, we've got some removal. We've got some recursion. We don't really want to protect the rat anymore because if it dies, it does good things for us. Jace in the house. Mmm. Okay, well. We could give our rat some power so that we can take down Jace or okay well obviously we're going to play the land out and Golly. I guess we're gonna shoot her now before they can counterspell it. We'll obviously get the Rod Priest. They know we got the Rod Priest. No attacks, not even worth it. They might have a haste creature. They're going to reduce the rat's power again. Whoa! That is something I did not expect. Okay, what does it do? I forget. When it came out, I read it, but... Proliferate twice. Okay. And the indestructible thing. Wow. Double proliferate. Interesting. Okay, and this proliferates, right? No. But it benefits from proliferation. Okay. Does Jace proliferate? I forget. No, Jace doesn't proliferate. Okay, so they don't have the mana to make that indestructible. But we don't necessarily have an ability... Uh huh. Rot priest. Seems good. Um. going to be doing a lot of proliferation, but we don't have any. Oil counters or anything like that. We've got ways to. OK, I think I see a game plan. I'm going to try and ease up on my opponent. And let them play the game because But we have plenty of ways to target our Blight Belly Rat. We can protect our Rat Priest while targeting it. We don't actually need to hit them anymore. It would be nice. And the Dominus is going to, holy crap, a bunch of new cards. Oil counter, draw a card, three damage. Okay. Sure. They're going to attack. Well, no. They want the blockers, I guess. Um...
Hmm. Okay. Um, drown and Icker on the rat? Natural restoration on the rat. Leave our protection for the rat priest. Um, if they target the rat priest with Jace. Are we just gonna let it happen? I think so. I gotta be honest. I don't know exactly what their game plan is. It seems like they're uh, playing oil counters. And they're not really using Jace to mill until possibly the very end. Okay, so we have to protect this. So we might as well gain some life. Do they have something else? And they can't activate Jace and reduce the power. So now Jace can't even target the Rot Priest. I feel like they did sequencing badly on that. I mean, they can just mill us. We have unnatural restoration. Okay, they just didn't select any creature. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, there's no counter spells. And we're going to get more creatures out onto the battlefield than they have. Leap protection up. No attacks. Let's see if we can bring this one home. I think our secret weapon is that we can kill our own rats and do cool stuff with it. Okay, one. Do the Jace first. Well, it doesn't matter. Only the Rot Priest is going to get the protection. And of course, I'm going to target the Rot Priest, so it's instantly going to... Uh, uh, X equals zero, confirm zero, Rot Priest, protection, up to eight poison counters, so we have lethal on the board with the rats, 
They can't attack. They just gave themselves nine poison counters because they they wanted to proliferate. Okay. Now they can kill a rat. That is a lot of milling that Jace can do right now. Um, unfortunately for them, they're completely tapped out and we drew a canker bloom and they decided to target one of our creatures with a spell. Why would they, why would they do that? They can block, there's no damage coming from this. They can block both of those with both of those. Ah, uh, they didn't do a good job and we're gonna win. Unfortunately for them, but fortunately for us. GG opponent, you have an interesting list. On to the next game. Let's check the store real quick. Looks like it's in a, a day of equipment and artifacts. Not very interesting. Um, I did say we were gonna play another game, but the video's already at 18 minutes. And I really appreciate everyone showing up and consuming this content. You're all excellent. The response has been fantastic. We are Retro MTGA.